Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Dan. I'm a veterinarian and this is my daughter, Hazel. Hazel. We're gonna talk about the? Large intestines. The large intestines today of the doggy. The large intestines have four parts. The first part of the large intestine is the cecum. The cecum. The second part of the large intestines is the ascending colon. The ascending colon means it's gonna go up, Hazel. Can you go up? Up. Up. Now, the next part is gonna be the transverse colon. It means it's going across. 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 <laughs> the next part is gonna be the descending colon. This is the part of the colon, Hazel, that goes down. Can you say down? Down. Down. Those are the four parts of the large intestine. And guess what happens at the end, Hazel? The large intestine makes poop. What? Poop. After the large intestines go cecum, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, and out of the dog's body, the dog produces poop. The large intestine primarily focuses on pulling out fluid. It pulls out fluid to keep the doggy hydrated and allow for the stool to be formed in the large intestines. The large intestines also acts as a, as a holding place for stool until the doggy is ready to go poop. <laughs> Poopies. You ready, Hazel? Yes. In the dog's big tummy, let's learn parts of the large intestine. Journey, hey, a little pouch along the way. Along the way. Then the ascending large intestines goes upward, moving nice and slow. Next, the transverse large intestines moves across side to side. It doesn't get lost. Then the descending large intestines end. Down it goes and round the bend. In the dog's big tummy zone, now you know the large intestines. And then the doggy goes poop. Please take a moment to do the worksheet with us. Go to the website, it's coming up next. Hi everybody, and welcome to the worksheet portion of today's uh, homeschool class. As you can see here, we have our large intestine. We have our cecum, our ascending colon going up, our transverse colon going across, and our descending colon going down. And then of course, this is where the doggy goes poop out here. We also have all of our terms from today. We have cecum, ascending colon, transverse colon, and descending colon. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna take and we're gonna cut out our terms. We're gonna mix them up. And then we're gonna place them on the question marks for where they belong. If you have a printer, pause and print this off. If you don't have a printer, that's fine too. You can definitely still participate and call out what you think to go on which question mark. And also, if you wanna watch this video multiple times, feel free to laminate this and use it as you please. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's cut these out. Hope everyone's having a great day. Here in Nebraska, it's very cold. Because when I made this video, it's almost Thanksgiving. Sometimes in Nebraska, it's a little bit warmer in November on certain days. But most of the days in November in Nebraska are pretty cold. It's like sweatshirt weather with an occasional coat. Take your time. Cut them out so you really like them, so you can be really proud of them. And as you can see here, my cecum and my descending corner are a bit bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and trim out the bottoms. I really like these. These look good. 
what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these up and mix them up. And I'm gonna put them just randomly, but this one right here, this one over here, this one right here, and this one right here. Now, when everything starts off, this portion right here is gonna start off the large intestines. The small intestines are gonna be pushing food that was digested towards this organ right here, which is part of the large intestines. So take a minute. Which one of these four do you think goes right here? Is it the descending colon, ascending colon, cecum, or transverse colon? This area right here is kind of like a blind-ended pouch. It's kind of like a pouch that holds digesta or food that's digested. The correct answer is cecum. This is going to be our cecum. After it goes from the cecum, it's going to go up this portion of the large intestine. It's going to go up. It is going up this portion the descending colon, ascending colon, or transverse colon? It's going to be the ascending colon. Now, now that we've gone up, we have to go across like a bridge. We have to go across this intestines right here. Is this portion of the large intestine going to be the descending colon or the transverse colon? What do you think? If you picked transverse colon, you're right. And our last portion is going down before it's pooped out. It's going down this portion of the large intestines. Our only option left is the descending colon. The descending colon is going down. And there we go. I hope you had a fun time doing that and I hope you got a whole bunch of them right. If you want to watch the video again and try again, feel free to anytime. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.